Hi there, everyone. Thank you for stopping by the classroom again today. Through all the demo videos that I've shown you, the one thing that you need to know above all others is how to cut the tape. It's right up there with the quality of the tape splice. So today I'm going to show you how to cut the tape because let me tell you right now, an operator with a pair of scissors just doesn't cut it anymore. So let's watch how to cut a nice straight cut or a zigzag cut on eight millimeter tape. I want to show you the most important thing about tape splicing. It's not the splice, it's cutting the tape. A pair of scissors and an operator just don't cut it. You need a guide to guide you for the cut. Here we're going to show you a pair of scissor type cutters with a four millimeter and a two millimeter pitch block which covers almost all the different types of eight millimeter tape available. First thing you do is you put the tape in on the four millimeter blocks and cut. You'll see that the cut when it's finished is right down the center of the sprocket hole and gives you a nice smooth cut. Then on embossed tape you have the same thing. It's a four millimeter tape. You just align it. There's nothing to concentrate on. You cut it and you get the same cut and splice every time. Right down the center of the sprocket hole and it's right between the two parts on the pockets. The other one that we have, the splice, or the cut looks terrible, but it works really well. These are our zigzag scissors with four millimeter pitch and two millimeter pitch. Same thing, when you cut, you put it on the correct block, you cut, and when you cut, it looks terrible. But when you go to put it together, you'll see it's like a puzzle piece and it fits together very well. This works great when you're doing double splice tape because it's hard to align that while you're doing it on the fly. This keeps the tape from going left to right like you do on a smooth cut. You do the same thing on a pocketed embossed tape. It still works just as well. You make a cut. After you've made the cut, when you go to put it back together, you'll see it goes between the pockets without damaging the component and fits together like that. Same thing on the bottom. You can see it's between the pockets and you get a nice cut. Again, this is the most important part of tape splicing and I'll be covering that on some other videos. Thank you. I want to thank everybody for stopping by the classroom today. Please remember that Smart Splice is the only full service tape splicing company in the industry and we back that claim with video meetings, webinars, and even a personal visit from yours truly, Professor Splice. All you need to do is contact me at the university or right here. Thank you.